one officer took a knuckle a knuckle brace and put it on his hand and it just started hitting me. Boom. Boom. And that's when I started getting divvy and divvy and divvy. But I don't want you to go. Girl, you know when my heart is for you, don't go. Oh, girl, I don't want you to leave. I was looking for that, that unconditional love attention, you understand? Know and I couldn't find it. And my mother was uh, on drugs the whole nine months she was carrying me. So uh, I was going on home visits and then going home and then going back to the group home. And then it's like I was, I was never in a stable place. I put on my double clothes I had and I put on my little gloves I had and I grabbed hold of one of the officers and I put him in a headlock and I fell, I fell on my back. I fell on my back so he could fall on top of me so when they start kicking me and punching me, I won't get hit that much. They get me up, they put me in cuffs, they leave me on the desk and they start punching me in my face. Boom, punching me in my face, jabbing me in my face, crazy. They got me outside the B gate. When they got me outside the B gate, they brought the stretcher. I was fighting to get on the stretcher. I didn't want to get on the stretcher. When I was fighting, uh, one of the officers just jabbed me both ways. Bing, bing. The lieutenant came and was like, yo, stop resisting. How can I, how can I be resisting when I'm cuffed to this gurney? How can I be resisting? My teeth is all bloody. My mouth is all bloody. I got blood all down my throat and Blood from my head to my feet, I was bloodied up. I, they said if I would've lost a lot of more blood, a little bit more blood, I would die. I probably would've went in cardiac arrest. I didn't want to show them that I was soft and I didn't want to bow down to them. So that's basically why I actually just started talking wild shit and fighting back and stuff like that because I just didn't want to feel like I was less of a man, you understand? Know